Hello, my name is Rich, and uh, welcome to my tutorial on procedural destruction. Um, I believe this is a pretty hot topic. I couldn't find anywhere where uh, you can find out how to do this. Um, the documentation, you can look, but uh, very, very confusing. I spent weeks trying to figure this out. So I figured I'd uh, return back to the community and make a tutorial on how to do this. Alright, so uh, what's going to happen is we're going to jump in game and show you what it's all about. Okay. Um, right now, I'm going to shoot the uh, concrete wall that I've modeled myself and textured as well, using Mudbox and 3D Studio Max. Um, so I'm going to shoot, and um, you're going to notice right away that uh, there's now a hole inside of the uh, concrete. It looks weird. I didn't optimize the uh, cut shape of you know the shape of it to make it look good. I was just purely testing if I can get this working. Um, let's keep shooting. You can shoot anywhere. And, uh, there you go. Um, it will go through the entire um, entire object, right front to back. Um, so that's basically um, how it is. Unfortunately, these do not allow. Um, uh, this does not allow uh, you know the pieces to actually break off and drop to the ground due to the fact it just basically cuts into the shape. Um, I plan on in the future um, spawning the uh, cut shape after it's been uh, cut out, spawning in the particle effect of the cut shape where I uh, where the hole is. That way, it could actually fall to the ground. Um, but actually, you can see that it's uh, that it is procedural. It's the same shape over and over because I've only had it um, cycle through the same shape. Um, so there we go. So right now I'm going to show you how to do this and I'm going to open up 3D Studio Max and uh, show you my Max file.